everyone, what's going on? It's Germs here, here for another video, and I thought I'd just do a video on are intro packs worth buying, and if so, why? <coughs> now, my... obviously, everyone starts off with Magic in some way or form. I personally started with Magic 2013 Duels of the Planeswalkers, I believe, and that introduced me to all the rules. And then I went out and bought a uh, Dragon's Maze intro pack, uh, black white and black white, I believe it was us or ors of. And so did many of my friends. I actually the only reason I even played Magic 2013 Duels of Planeswalkers was because it was um it was free on Xbox Live f uh, for those you know how they do those two week things. It was because of that, and I told my friends, go pick up and go download Magic 2013, it's a lot of fun. We actually played online for a little bit, just to get our heads around the game. And then, one day after school, we are just like, yeah, we've got the money, let's just go out and buy a couple of intros and come to school the next day and, and play Magic. So, we went into the place in my school where you where you play magic and it was just a lot of it was a lot of fun basically uh now now that I am a bit more experienced I've bought my own deck uh decks before like I was running a all a mono red burn or red deck wins kind of strategy is it still okay or is it a good value proposition to buy an intro pack for the, the core sets or Born of the Gods or any any set? Should you go out and pick up an intro pack? And I'll say yeah it is. Just even though like okay I was looking them up and uh, it, I can get one for about $18 with free postage from the uh, United Kingdom. Um, I live in Australia obviously but uh, you can get one for about eighteen dollars. They come with a couple of boosters, and I actually I bought this one uh, yesterday, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, and I compared it to this, and it's for me to pick up all these cards individually. Not that um, they really are intended for you to do that, but it would be around twenty-two bucks. So already that's four dollars value, and including the two boosters you get, that's another six dollars. So, already in that perspective, it is worth buying an intro pack. However, the cards in them are not really worth anything, or obviously, because they're in an intro. The one I got was Flame of the Dragons, and the card that was worth the most, I believe, was the $1.50, and that's Insole Artifact, which is a really cool card, by the way. And, yeah, you just kind of try and it's not really meant to, you're not really meant to mod them, you're kind of meant to learn the rules and strategies and I feel that you, Wizards intends for even um, older players they can learn what the new cards are kind of for and kind of all that. You may disagree but that's ha what I think anyway. Basically I just think intros are a lot of fun, they relieve a lot of the uh, competitiveness kind of of um having like a a hundred dollar deck or something just because they're just the twenty dollar decks for like just for fun you pick one up with your friends and you just play magic and it's just a lot of fun it's a, it's a really good um casual way of playing I would say and I'm not the most hardcore players like I've never been to a Friday night magic or anything like that just because I never felt like I was um I was ever that good but yeah I I do I do know the basic rules and all all of, all of those types of things but intros are just a lot of fun especially if you're getting into the game I would su strongly suggest buying an intro and getting a couple of your friends to buy one as well don't try and use them against someone who has an already built deck cuz they're obviously not meant for that so that is my overall opinion if uh if you agree comment below i want to see if anyone actually agrees with my point of view
I really think they are worth um, the $20 I picked mine up for. And boosters are just fun opening, especially <laughs> comparing what you pulled compared to your friends. Like, uh, yesterday I, p I picked one up with my friend, and I got a couple of boosters, obviously, and I picked up a Mythic Rare. Ob it was Soul of Zendikar, which is like a $2 card, it's not that great. Would have preferred Soul of New Phyraxia, or, or I think it's called, uh, just because it would have suited my Is It Artifact decks better, better, but yeah. They're just a lot of fun. I definitely would suggest picking one up. And yeah, this is Germs. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.